Kate Linder joins us now, and if you are a fan of The Young and the Restless, you're like, that's not Kate Linder, <laughs> that's Esther. Yeah, Esther. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, great Thank to have you. you here. Thrilled to be here. So you're in town uh, for an afternoon tea that's going on at the Fairmont Royal York this Sunday. Yes. You're doing great work. Um, I have to tell you, it's already sold out. That's the thing, right? Is it sold well, out it is. completely? It's, it's benefiting March of Dimes. And this is our first one here, and we're looking forward to making this an annual event and hopefully going all through Canada with it. So Doesn't it's it speak terrific. to the power of YR when so many soap operas have fallen by the wayside? Your particular program just seems to get stronger. People are showing up for this. What, what do you, well, you attribute know, that it's to? It's terrific. Young and Russell's is the number one show. And you can't tell me, what people say to me that soaps yes, are dying or they're gone or they're good, I, I, I don't believe it. Absolutely not. Uh, and and, and, and so th this is so exciting that we'll be able to, to be here with everyone. It's just great. I know. There's uh, you, People love it. You, when you name that soap, people can name off the characters characters like crazy. But now, explain this to me. When I was told that you've been on since 1982, but you also are a flight attendant. Is that right? Right. I am. For United. Really? <laughs> United Airlines. I, I know. There's something about uniforms in me. I don't know what it is. Um, but I, uh, I fly, you know, on the weekends, some weekends, when I'm not here with, with all of you. And it, it's Why? terrific. Really? You know, it, it's interesting because I've seen a lot of people come and go in this business and you really can't forget who you are when one day I'm on the set, the next day I get to be here with all of you, and the yeah. day after that I'm serving coffee at 35,000 feet. Yeah. Uh, it puts it all into perspective. Are you and, working first class? Yeah, I love to work first class. Well, there you go. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I do work that position a lot, but uh, it, it's great too because it's like doing a personal appearance. All the time, I get to meet well, people fans must on the be show. Totally confused. Well, I've had great. Oh my gosh, I've had so many great stories. This this one couple came up to me, and the woman said, "Oh my gosh, it's Esther." And the husband pulled me aside. He said, "I'll pay you fifty bucks if you say it's not you." I said, "What? Oh. It's me." And he said, "Well, I bet her a hundred dollars, and there's no way <laughs> that you would be doing this. So you're only paying me fifty, so you can just forget it." <laughs> Good for you. Oh, that's funny. But. That's a stressful position, you know, being a flight attendant. Look at that guy on JetBlue that flipped out. Yeah, I know. So I can't, I can't do that. Well, I won't no, flip that. Don't worry, I won't be <laughs> no. doing it. What's, what's it like on set? Sorry, Eliza. What's it like on set? Is it stressful? I know the days can be pretty long. Well, you know, they're long days, but they're fabulous. We're getting ready to celebrate our 40th anniversary on The Young and the Restless in March will be 40 years. I just had my 30th anniversary and to be on there for, for 30 years. It, it's, it's amazing. I get to work with incredible people. We have uh, fabulous people coming up uh, from Young and the Restless. Christian LeBlanc, who plays Michael. Jeff Branson, who's Ronan. We have my daughter, uh, Chloe, who's played by Elizabeth Hendrickson. And, uh, Patty, Denny, and George Guzman are the head of hair and makeup, and they do a makeover here at the T. So it's, it's really going to be wonderful. I want to ask you this: What's what's the key to staying power? How do you end up not dead on the show? <laughs> or how do I end up not going upstairs yeah. and not coming back yeah, down again? Exactly. I, I I don't know. I think one thing, one of the reasons that Young and the Restless is the number one show is they deal with real life situations, and you don't have aliens flying in and out, and people can relate. To, like Esther is a, a single mother. She's she's not one of the glamorous people in Genoa City. I think people can relate to her mm -hmm. because of that. And uh, so and also on our show, fortunately, we don't have a revolving door. You know, so when people people I've been there for 30 years. People have been there a long time. When you tune in, you know who you're going to see. You're going to see your characters that you've grown, grown up with and continue right. to. These are like legacy shows that span generations. If you grew up in a household and your mother watched The Young and the Restless, that hook is in. You're probably going to be watching Young and the Restless. I certainly hope so. Well, this is what to. happens, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's great. I, I've had people come up to me, oh, there'll be a woman, and she's holding a baby, and she says, wow, I've watched you since I was yeah. her age. And I'm going, uh-oh. You know, yeah. like, oh, what does that, that mean for me? me. <laughs> yeah, right. it's, it's all good. It's fabulous. Yeah. Now, you were saying that, that uh, predictability is what makes soap operas sort of popular, right? Do you ever get a script 
you know, you've been on the show for so long and think, wow, those people are breaking up again. <laughs> Do you well, ever I would, think? I, I like getting a script going, wow, I get to have yeah. someone? Finally, yeah. and poor Esther doesn't have anybody. <laughs> you know, so wow, that would be great. No, one time, too, when I read, uh, I got the script and Esther became a bag lady. This was years and years yeah. ago. I'm going, Esther's becoming a bag lady? This well, I, I love it. I love getting the scripts and not knowing what's going to happen. It's like real life. You don't know what's going to happen when you wake up that morning. No, you sure do I not. Wish you got a script in the morning sometimes. I know, <laughs> no right? kidding. Um, so again, it is sold out this afternoon high tea event. It's going to be hosted or co-hosted um, by Leslie Roberts. Yes, Leslie. He's so wonderful. He's, 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 he's he does a great job, and it's benefiting March of Dimes and. Uh, you know, Global, of course, is one of the sponsors. Yeah. And, uh... Well, you're, it's a long-time show, The Young and the Restless, here on Global. It's on every day at 4.30. Absolutely. Uh, and on there's I no one more grateful for that show than Leslie Roberts. <laughs> I know. Yes, because yeah. he's Leading right into the news. Uh, that's right. Right. It's yeah. like, bring all those YNR fans with you. That's, <laughs> that's, right. that's really, really good. And you, while this is sold out, you're thinking or hoping it might turn into an annual event. Oh, so there we're definitely. We're already talking about next year. We're talking with March of Dimes for next year. March of Dimes helps people with disabilities, whether you're old, young, rich, or poor. It's a fabulous organization they're 60 years themselves yeah so we have a lot of years going into this between March of Dimes and the Young and the Restless Terrific. and Global so it's good I'll Happy be together to be part of it Kate Linder thank you so much Esther from the Young and the Restless have a great time at the tea thank you it's